Hey guys, this is Terry at Vorschlag. I'm going to show a quick video of our new uh, Engine 7 8's primary long tube headers for the 86 LS swap. Uh, these are Engine 7 8's primary stainless uh, CNC production bent long tube headers that fit our motor mounts, our transmission cross member for an LS with a T56 Magnum XL. So don't buy our headers thinking you've got some random motor mounts for this swap and thinking they'll fit. They might fit, but we just can't guarantee that. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of room between the LS motor and the frame because the factory uh, FA20 is so wide, 31 inches wide. This is 10 inches narrower. Uh, so we have a lot of room. So we have some really nice long runs to come out of the exhaust port and make the turn. Uh, clears the steering shaft without any problems. You just have to pull the intermediate shaft out during header installation. So that's the driver's side. These are made for the left-hand drive version only. We will not be doing a right-hand drive version. We've been burned by that before. Uh, so this side, it was uh, the clearing the starter was the tricky point. You can see back here by the back of the chassis, there's actually more room than it looks. Uh, but the, the kind of angled portions of the back of the chassis were somewhat tricky to get around, as was the bell housing and transmission cross member. To install or remove the 86 LS swap headers for the Vorschlag kit, the trick is to drop the steering rack and the sway bar, which has these attachments right here at the frame, and then out they come. Again, you remove the steering rack as shown, and the sway bar and the mounting assemblies, and you got plenty of room to get these out. You don't even have to loosen the um, engine mounts. All right, from underneath, uh, you can see we have plenty of room around the steering shaft. You can get up in there, see that? So that turns freely without interference. It's got more room than most of our long tube headers do. You can see our motor mounts here. You do have to cut uh, a couple spot welds off to remove this weird funky shaped plate. And we remove that on both sides to make our motor mounts go on uh, more squarely. Uh, we've, we've used a sticky front sump pan on our build. You can use a GTO pan as well. Uh, this one just had more capacity in a baffled uh, section. So for road race cars, we would recommend this, uh, this particular one. Instead of having the oil filter there or, or mounted on the front, we're doing a remote oil filter. We've got those big AN90s coming off of there and they cleared the headers as well. We designed around all that. Uh, the collectors, it's a three inch collector um, and there's a, it's a merge collector. The cones aren't in there because this is just a pre-production mock-up. Uh, but these are CNC bent, so this is how they will look in production. Of course, these will be fully welded. Uh, clears the bell housing that we sell for this transmission and the Magnum XL is the long version direct mount shifter. So you don't have this wonky jaw, a bunch of rods and doodads coming off a remote shifter. It's directly mounted to the transmission. Nothing feels the same. Uh, this is our transmission cross member that comes with the motor mount kit. We've revised this in 2019 to have more exhaust clearance, but it's the same location. We also use a new uh, transmission mount bushing that's better. These are locating holes in the chassis. You can put a bolt in there if you want. That's what keys this off the chassis is these two holes. And then there are some spot welds and uh, another one of these kind of intermediate um, stamp steel brackets you cut off to make room for this monster transmission. 700 foot-pounds of torque rated, you're not going to break that with anything uh, remotely sane. So uh, uh, you can see both headers, they're, they're curved in such a way to work around the chassis bumps. It's a little bit different on the driver's side than the passenger side so that you can put a 45 and come straight back with dual 3-inch exhaust. Uh, this side is a little trickier and we'll bring this over and then do a merge in the middle and cats and all that. As you can see, we've got uh, the biggest sway bar on the market, which is this white line bar. We cleared all of that with room to spare, as well as the steering rack, uh, bell housing on this side, the starter, the chassis. Really came out just better than we expected. Normally, we go through several, several iterations between our prototypes and production version, and this one, they got it the first time. We did a lot more notes and some videos for the manufacturer so that they could perfectly mimic our design and to show where clearances are tight so that they can make sure they don't alter those dimensions at all. So if you want the most power out of your LS Swap 86, I don't know of another header that's going to be made, made as well, have the same flow characteristics as this engine 7 8 3 inch collector uh, long tube made in the USA and available for sale at Vorschlag.com.